All right, Bang Bang, welcome to the Dog Walk, presented by Barstool Sports. It's Monday. It is July 25th. Uh, I mixed those up, but Snake Draft Monday. Carnival slash fair day, big day. Uh, how's everybody doing? Couldn't be better, Ed. White Sox just swept the Brewers in Milwaukee. I don't know. That'd be me predicting time, <laughs> technically. <laughs> okay. Um, two things. So, Marty's the guest. Marty, welcome to the show. How are you? How are you? What I'm, number of appearances is this cool. for you, Marty? Two. This is second. I've been getting fucking. Oh yeah, fucking I've been rice getting balls here. Rice my balls head because of my rice balls picked. Yeah, he had an unofficial suspension. I he made a mockery the first one. He did. He, he did. did. He took rice balls in the appetizer mm-hmm. dress. And every time I, I see him, he's like, "Dude, what am I getting on another one?" I was like. He can't make a mockery of my draft and think you're just coming and walking through that door easily again. My draft? I thought it was our draft. Mm-hmm. I thought oh. we all were part of this. <laughs> oh. I, Edward. That did not go to the council, Marty. That was another unilateral red-ed decision to suspend you. Oh, of course. I mean, I'm already pissed about today's draft. They didn't start yet. Oh, yeah, well, we'll get into that. Secondly, Carl, you're, you have returned as well. I'm glad to be back. Welcome back. Do you feel... Um, uh, have you been seeing anything? Like, are you like, man, I'm going to crush that one? Or was there I thought like I would have done well on the last draft until obviously the controversy that I hope we're going to get to and address. Um, no, I mean, it's been, I, it's been good to kind of get a break and refresh and reset. And I'll be honest, I did miss, like, the, I missed the competition week to week. Yeah. The, the, I mean, the winning. That was you, it two or three you were gone? Like five. Was, was it, it really? What was the last one you did? I haven't, I've been, I haven't been on. Well, we didn't do one the 4th of July week. We were okay. Off. Okay, yes. that's true. Yeah. Charleston, two weeks in Omaha, 4th right. of July, and then Newport, Rhode Island. So I've been. It's been a while. Fuck. It has been a while. This summer's flown. No, I recommend really, really, this. Yeah. If you guys get a chance next summer, it's a great couple week stretch there. <laughs> I reset, do love Charleston. So. I do love Newport. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll just bring it up. White Sox, Dave. Yeah. The poll shows that you won the grievances draft. And I did. Everybody, I think, pretty much knows otherwise. A, uh, a virtual signaler is an awful human that should be shot in the face. So what I, about people who take credit for things that they didn't really earn? But I, As I'm not doing that. If it's a good point, I mean, the, Carl, you you uh, you went to law school a couple times, right? <laughs> a couple, did you? Yeah. What is uh, uh, onus probandi mean? In uh, Latin, it's probably. It's, I know exactly what you mean. The onus, the pro uh, probably like something about the burden is on somebody. The else. burden of proof yeah. is on the accuser. Now, I had nothing to do with any foul play. All I did was get a notification saying that I won this week's draft. Um, and if proven that bots were purchased or whatever to enhance my vote, then I will gladly give that back. Um, I had nothing to do with any foul play, like I said. But if you guys want to prove otherwise, then I'll hand it back. Until then, but it says like, section one hundred eight written all over well, it. Well, uh, but that comment right there, if it gets proven, like you know, this conversation ends as soon as we start this snake trap. No one's ever going to do any work to prove it. No. So I think the good faith thing to do would just be have no winner for last week. You should you should it rescind seemed, you should rescind that like victory. And once again, what did you say? It seems like you were aware of what was going on. I, I, last night, I was dealing with other shit, though, like I said. Like, I got I, I got all the tweets. I'm like, what the fuck? And I, I saw people saying that no. there's fishy business. And according to Dante, who was following me pretty closely, he was up like 40 to 32% on Mr. Portnoy. And then at the 11th hour, literally the last hour, thousands of votes poured in for you. I mean, if that that. I would, it should come to as no shock. Can we ask, so in, did anybody retweet in social media, Danny? Any big retweets, any big traction on the account? It was, it was definitely juiced. It was juiced, he said. He just said it was juiced. It was, I would call all those people who voted for you lemmings. It wasn't like Jerry Reinsdorf retweeted it and was like, go vote for number one. <laughs> I did not see that. I don't, I'm not aware that Jerry Reinsdorf even has a Twitter account. Now, to be fair, I do believe Dave. I don't think he would have known how to do this, or I don't think he I'm would. sure you could easily find out. I'm sure anyone with to do this. two brain cells, which I know is a hot debate regarding myself. Can we have, do you port- have but, to? Can we have Portnoy call Jack 
and just be like, what happened? Yeah, what happened? Can we get your that? people on. And I feel yeah. like because you're defending Dave, you can be mean to him like you just were. Like, I, think <laughs> like, I feel that, like you're no, taking no, no, advantage right. of the fact like, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand up for uh, Dave here. I know, but, no, but I <laughs> what truly about do. This? I what truly about this? do. What about this? Believe that he, well, maybe. I, maybe yeah, some, I, or I, what I could have seen I is some silly DM. Hey, Dave. I know how to rig the poll. Do you want me to do it? No, this, 100%. It's, I, 100%. 100%. I go to IIT, live by 35th I and shield. Will take, Solution. Yeah. I will take like all jokes aside and put all funny business aside right now. <laughs> I am shocked it took this long to choose a poll. That's true. I am shocked. Like I'm pretty sure that's why like LCB doesn't do their shit on Twitter because it's like pretty easy to like uh, i don't this know this show's got integrity though i feel like the fans of the show's got integrity agreed our draft Not you. I, I, integrity. I thought don't, that don't put your head up and down i thought it had well, i mean all, how, how many votes probably three four thousand all right okay. so this is no what i'm I mean. saying it's over 13, Mar- i think it's 13. So, marty makes a good point like this show has always been about integrity and that's why people who benefited from a rigged election should distance themselves from that and not claim that victory. Good, I, that's good. I like that. Prove uh, for integrity. Prove it. Mm-hmm. And he was—he lost like twenty-six straight before this. He was going to go like a year with like it was going to be a fucking big streak of losses. Um, but regardless, that's that's but, where I mean, we're at. But regardless, I mean, are we going to mm-hmm. actually say that Portnoy's dad had a better draft than me? He was talking about things that. Like he would, was the would, star of the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, he was the star of the show. But like, I mean, uh, should John Scott have made that All Star game? It's just like people rally around a fucking, <laughs> you know, they rally for something they believe in. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean that he should have won. Are I'm we, coming uh, around. I gotta say, I'm coming around on the fact we're that in, cash only lines for five items or less doesn't exist as a grievance. That would be kind of that nice. would make things like more difficult. <laughs> He All made right. some compelling All points. Right. Um, Marty, social media Danny has number one through five behind his back. What is it? Four. Four. Carl. Two. Three. Chief. Dave. Wow. Wow. Rigged again. <laughs> I'll go with the third overall pick. <clears throat> wow. All right. One through four to me. I'm going to pick four. Marty. Two. Two. Carl. Three. I will take the first overall pick. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. All right. One through three. Chief. One. I'll take the fifth spot. Why am I nervous? One or two to me. One. <laughs> All right, Marty, what do you want, second or fourth? Uh, fourth. All right, so I got second. All right, so here's the order. Carl, Eddie, White Sox, Dave, Marty, Chief. Here's the subcategories, people. Like I said, it's carnival slash fair. I don't know. Like you, you're you from, like, they got to have fairs in Long Island, right, carnivals? Dude, they... When you said musical act, there's no musical yeah, act. Yeah, that one, that one was well, a listen, weird listen, one. Hold on a listen, second, yes. though. This, this, this clicked instantly with a couple other people, though. Yes. Okay, listen. Okay, here's the fub, five subcategories. There's rides, obviously. Generic. You're not taking whatever's at a six flag. You're not taking a giant the drop. Raging Bull. Yeah. Yes, you're not yep. taking that. You're taking the standard thing that if any carnival has. <laughs> there's food slash beverage, which is pretty straightforward as mm-hmm. well. There's game. That you pay yep. money to and lose a lot. Uh, <laughs> miscellaneous. <laughs> and then miscellaneous. What did you say? Jeff DeLo just paid $100 to play the three block game for 91 balls and missed all of them. Can you he believe this lot, guy right yeah. now? What? Wait, what? I mean, he's giving away picks and the draft oh, hasn't yeah. even yeah. started. That's, see, this is rice oh, ball all over. I hope what you are you talking that, you brown fuck. I mean, do you not know the rules? I know. I I hope you pick it, because if you do, you're a moron. This I didn't even it. hear what you said, but you go into you you start like, yeah. ugh. This is why I hope you know. White Sox Dave is winning the brain off versus you. Wow. wow. That's I a, mean that. This, I mean it's my yeah. the integrity. Or you got the <laughs> Don't brain off me. <laughs> oh, we'll we'll go into a brain off. If you want to get into a brain off, I will spin you into circles. <laughs> That's. You're the, you're the fucking worst. Keep tweeting about fucking big ass boobs. 
Hey, you, please do that, though. I like those are funny to me. I mean, I like when you do it. Too. Do, do I actually do that though? Right, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, um, but it's not like constant. No, you gotta pick and choose I mean, when, when you Julie talk about a nice fat pair of tits. Had it, you <laughs> say yes. <laughs> do you like them like big, like real big and fat? Is there is there a size where it's too big and you like them more? You know, um, rounder. And- Carl's trying to tee, tee me up big time. Uh, I'm not prejudiced against tits. No. You know? So it's like, are we talking cantaloupes, like the smaller watermelons? What are we talking? Like the little small seedless personal wa- watermelons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are nice sometimes. <laughs> yeah, like those. Yeah. Just smack them around like punching bags, like you're fucking Tyson training for... <laughs> training for the fucking Lennox Lewis. Yeah. Um, all right, then final subcategory, musical act. I mean, listen, if you ever went to some state fair or whatever, there's always been a musical act that you kind of chuckle at. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. We're not talking about the best. Yeah. We're talking about like, oh my God, that guy, like he was popular like 20, 20 years ago. Okay, had one okay. good song. See, like a carnival's so way I, different I than have, a state fair to me though. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Carnival, That's why I the car, it. Carnival's in like a, <laughs> like a do. street. Well, it could be that or even in like the suburb, western suburbs where I'm from, it's like, oh, it's in the grocery store parking lot. Exactly, yeah. Where a fair is like you're going to the Minnesota State Fair. And there's like hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah. And the musical act, like you said, at one point was super good. But like a carnival, there's no musical well, act. I just had like, the, carny, like like the carnival Like the DuPage music. County Fair. Well, I'm, I'm, like you said Kane County yeah. Exchange, which like totally resonates. Mm-hmm. Like, we would get like legit, legit bands and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, obscure no, the big ones yes but like the smaller ones is what i'm talking like, okay. like yeah the one that Carl- so well, just, i'm going to use the example executive decision um well, the one that because carl and i talked about already don't i don't i don't want you to say it because i think i know what you're going to say now right. it would be very i would be stunned if you had this one on the tip of your tongue okay there th- there's two there's two all right well if i say it i apologize he's made the executive decision it's like brett michaels okay would be like yeah. Okay. That's you know what I mean. Okay. I, I've Mine's not, no one's gonna draft this one. It's oh. collective soul. They're at <laughs> okay, every no, fucking. No, no, it is a category. It's a category. So Why'd should we just that? put that in collective soul, Dave? Third no. overall. I I wasn't gonna take you that one. There's a better exactly one. Exactly what you yelled at me for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but no one is gonna touch that one, and that's like that's. I mean, no I one's actually touch that one. Uh, the brain off is officially at a stalemate. Yeah. Between, yeah, between yeah, these. The, the reason <laughs> no, I the think reason, the wind probability chart the, looks the like somebody just fell off a cliff. But like, what was that thing? A a state fair is so much different than a carnival. I don't even think that should be a category. But, but not. But but don't even think of the state. Think of the fucking I'm little taking, county I'm fair. I'm taking the Naperville Rib Fest, bro. Yeah, you got twenty five fucking rib, rib, massive. Rib, I know it's massive. I know. Gets, rib think, Fest is a bad I know. example. Okay, maybe, maybe it's a bad example. Hootie and the Blowfish, two thousand three. They <laughs> were he big. He just did it too. Then, but they're not eligible. If you th- if you try to take Hootie and the Blowfish, I throw Doesn't you count. out. I I literally throw you on okay. a Belmont. Yeah, I mean maybe not. But and this is gonna be a very subjective category so I feel like everyone well whatever but uh, yes that's why I want to talk about it yeah is there anything else mm. miscellaneous is miscellaneous yeah I that's the one that is gonna go off the rails that I'm very excited for well I mean <laughs> I know what Dave's taking I used to pick up girls at the carnival I I'm sure like you did Marty how'd you do that I mean he fit right in with his fucking snaggle teeth before he got him fixed <laughs> <laughs> Good. That was good. Hey, I'm back in the lead in the brain off. The brain off. White Sox. Davis pulled. Up. He's, hey, he's coming around. I he's just coming around a, the White Sox. Davis I just hit off. a fucking gapper with that one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Carl. Carl. Eddie. White Sox. Dave. Marty. Chief. The official <laughs> carnival slash fair draft. Carl, you're on the clock. All right. First overall pick. I am gonna take. There, it's rare that you get a pick where it just like everything touches. If there was a Venn diagram, there'd be like six circles on the page. We'd be right in the fucking center here. I mean, this is something I love. I've got personal experience with. You can only get this in this type of environment. I'm going in the food beverage category. I'm taking a state ball. I'm taking the funnel cake. Yeah. The, yeah I had yeah. to take a funnel yeah. cake. I, when I woke up this morning, I was coming in. I was like, I just can't stomach the idea of one of you guys having a funnel cake with how much I love funnel it's, cakes. And it's only available in these situations sax park baseball games but yeah i mean yeah. well you know you guys are basically fucking but carnies. you're 
That was rude, but I'm not going to even attempt to combat that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, the clear cut number one, I think. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I think it's up there. And, uh, it's, and I, it's one of those things where it's like, you can't you really know, debate it. You can't debate it. And you know, like, the only reason it's really sold there is probably because it is the cheapest food to just produce. And then you fried just dough. Fried <laughs> dough. <laughs> with powdered sugar. And then just sprinkle a little sugar on there and give it to them. And then charge get, eight bucks. Charge for eight it. bucks. And it costs you maybe a nickel to make. And it's so unique to a carnival sesh fair. Like, I don't, I'd have to Google where to find a funnel cake in the city right now. 100%. I think the closest one that's served daily could be maybe other than Sox Park, Six Flags and Gurney. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Probably. Yeah, and that, you know, or that whatever street fest is going around in the neighborhood that particular day, like now, all summer it, long. I should ask Marty, though, as, a, as an East Coast guy, like, do you guys have funnel cake stands on the corner and stuff? Or, like, what's your exposure no, no. access to funnel I, cake? I feel like I Jersey Shore would probably just have them everywhere. Jersey Shore has them on, like, we got one on the Jersey Shore last time. But, yeah, you can't find it anywhere besides, like, a boardwalk or something. Mm -hmm. And you got to watch out. If it's windy, that powder can go all <laughs> over you. And you got it all That's over the entire time. Yeah, if you're wearing black, too, you can't get a funnel cake. Right. That's <laughs> tough. <Yeah. laughs> be crazy, Ed. <laughs> yeah, that powder sugar all over. Okay, so the cleanup's a little <laughs> tough, but I think we are... We're in the sweet spot of the atmosphere, and it is a food. It's like one of those things you're in the caramel, like yeah, you're getting a, you're getting a funnel. I cake. had five foods on my list. That was one of them. I mean, funnel cake is yep. a, it's a a one food pick. Um, so good pick. All right, it's to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I'm gonna go miscellaneous here, and uh, just because I think this is such a part of the carnival experience, and it's the fucking carnies. God yeah. damn it, Ed. I, that was what Dave wanted yeah. overall. Did he? Yeah. Dude, it's the Carnies. Like, you know, like when they come into town, like you tell, like you you say, hey, the carnival's coming. Like, like somebody locks their doors in the neighborhood. You know, like there was, <laughs> like they're just, they're creatures, you know? They are. They're they're, I mean, they more than likely have a meth addiction. <laughs> uh, a tat sleeve with like a snake wrapped around a blade with blood dripping off it on their arm. I mean, they're gypsies. They're, they're modern day gypsies. That's what they are. Yeah, they like sleep in them, like the games they're working. They travel around, yeah. The funniest carny in fiction would be Stifler in Old School yeah. uh, when yeah. he's got the donkeys. Yeah. I yeah. do like a good carny, good mullet. Do you have any plans to interview one, Ed? I think that would be great if you could sit down with like two generations of carnies. Hey, a, you know what's coming up? This would be another one where you need like White Sox Dave when we had Tommy tickets. Dave stuck around to make yeah. sure everything was okay. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> God, that guy came in the scalper and I was like, Dave, I might need you. This guy That's be. backup. So Dave yeah. was just staying at the door. Hey, the first, I believe it's the first week of August every year, the St. Helens Carnival. Yeah. At your old man's yeah, stomping yeah. ground. Yeah, I've always wanted to do it. Um, that was so fucking annoying. I lived on Augusta, <laughs> and you could see the fucking rides and flashing lights and shit right outside my bedroom window until 9 p.m. every single night. Yeah, it would be a tough sleeping environment. Um, yeah, that's, you know, that's really all I got. The Carney, like, they, I appreciate a good one, though. It's like a dealer. They're like a step, like, they're just a really trashy casino dealer, if you think about it, right? Yeah, or a casino dealer that got fired. A more liberated well, casino yeah. dealer, in some and they could respects. taunt you. Like they could, they could do whatever they That's want. That's what I'm saying, dude. They they're mean to you. They like yeah. taunt you in, like, hey, you got a shitty arm, come over here. Yeah, yeah. You're like, all right, fuck you. I'm gonna spend hundred bucks on it now. <laughs> I remember I was at the Six Flags in Gurney one time. We were on the eighth grade trip, and there was this the the carnival guy was like, oh, where are you from? Or, or he asked me where I was from. I'm like, oh, I'm from St. Charles. He goes, well, I've been to St. Charles. And he did not look like he was like a St. Charles guy. I'm like, oh, like, where, where are you from? He goes, I spent four years in the, in the boys' home. There used to be like a juvenile correction center. And he got out of that and went right into the carny life. And I was like, oh, well, shit. I hope he's doing all right. My guess is that he's not. Um, yeah. If, it, if you know a carny, reach out. I'd love to have mm -hmm. on the show. Uh, so, yeah, the carnies is my second. Is my first pick second overall they, they uh, should they deserve to tell their side of the story yeah i agree so I'm, yeah. i think white Sox, dave so you said in the beginning that um for the games you just you just rifle through money and you never win my game that is personal to me is the shoot the star game i have spent so much fucking money on that and i've never won 
and the next time I'm near a carnival, I'll probably spend another. I don't think I know this. Oh, is this the water? water? Phenomenal. You game. take the like the BB gun. And it's got the chain, so you can't like you know go on a fucking oh, shooting oh, spree, and then you yeah. got to shoot the star out. <laughs> Well, it's tied down to the table. <laughs> is that what's stopping you and from it's like, <laughs> shooting spree at a carnival? Is the chain no. on the BB gun? It's stopping other people. Maybe one of the carny psychopaths that just got out of fucking doing eight to ten for armed robbery themselves. This guy's gonna strap on it so you can't go on a shooting spree. Well, that's what it's there for. And can we talk about the fucking shoot the star game? Yeah, we are. sorry. You're an idiot. You got to shoot the little red star out and you got to shoot every ounce of the red part. Otherwise, you don't win. And you always get like just a sliver of that fucking star. And you're like, here's two more bucks. Give it to me. And they fill in the. They take like a, a little stick of BBs loaded into the BB gun. That's an automatic BB gun. Like it's the only time I've ever seen an automatic BB gun. And you just sit there trying to shoot that fucking red star. Oh, I love sense. the game. I know your frustration. I think that you could have gotten that later, but I do love love this game. Marty, do they have that game? In, they like, have it all over the boardwalk in, in Jersey. I've spent I, a ton of money on I that, too. Honest, I don't really know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you don't know? It, 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 it's like the paper. You were just and in Seaside gotta, Heights, you gotta, weren't you? you, gotta, you gotta, it's a BB gun, dude. you got to shoot out the star. Well, we do. The one everyone else does is the water gun. Don't you say. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a BB gun. I mean, this guy's unbelievable. This, uh, all right, the, the, the dumb brain off White Sox Dave. I mean, is, it's, he's a full drunk, length ahead. I'm yeah. I'm pulling away. I mean, we're just getting to the first turn. They're, Marty's like pulled up lane. They're gonna have to put him down on the track. That's how bad. Yeah, he's they're gonna have to off. send you to the glue factory, Marty. <laughs> so I'm reading here the strategy is you have to shoot a around circle it. closely around yes, it. Yes, around it. And I always try. And they autom and they make it so that aim is just a hair off. So you gotta like can compensate for the for oh, it's the like aim. A, it's like a bad steering wheel. Yeah, exactly. I have never seen this. How really? Have Are you, you ever been to a carnival? I have many. So you don't know what Dave's talking about when he's. I mean, I, I've Googled it. <laughs> it's chained down so you can't go on a shooting spree. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, I've seen like <laughs> I've ass. seen other target games, but I haven't seen this shoot the star specifically. Do you see, do you see a picture of the gun they use? Yeah, I mean, it legitimately looks like a uh, like a Call of Duty submachine yes, no, gun, it's like a World War II fucking yeah. rifle. Yeah, yeah. Is it called shoot the star though? Yeah, Are you shoot sure the about star. That? That's what I've always called it. Shoot the star. Yeah, it's called Shoot Out the Star. <laughs> I mean, this is going to look horrible. On it. Thank God we have pictures. If this is the old graphic and it just said Shoot the Star Out. Shoot Out. Shoot Out the Star. All right. Um, I'm surprised you didn't pick something more aggressive. I got to be honest with you. I, I got a couple things up my hopper. Don't worry right, about that. It's right. not aggressive enough? <laughs> well, you, oh, but he's, I know. He's just, you, that's too stationary for Dave. You know yeah. what I mean? It only requires one <laughs> finger. Like White Sox, Dave likes to do the crow hop and like get the body involved. Like they thought it'd be a more active game. Yeah, like it's called kinesthetics, Ed. Hmm. Thank you. Um, before we continue, I do want to say, Upstart. What about him? Is a sponsor of this podcast. Ooh. You guys familiar with Upstart? I am, but I actually could use a refresher. Well, I, mean, I know you you're an expert. Since we're having a dumb brain off between two people on the show, I want to tell you guys how you can be smarter when it comes to paying off your debt. And that starts with Upstart. Upstart is a fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online, whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses. Over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. Upstart knows you're more than just a credit score, and it's expanding its access to affordable credit. And unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income, current employment to find you a smarter rate for your loan. With a five-minute online check, you can online rate check. Excuse me, you can see your rate upfront for loans between one thousand to fifty thousand dollars. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting the loan. That's important, Dave. They don't just look at one thing; they take a lot of factors into uh, I love account that. here. Yeah. Okay. So if your brain's not functioning that well, uh, make sure you go check out Upstart. You can go to. Uh, Upstart, they'll lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash Eddie, E-D-D-I-E. That's upstart.com slash Eddie. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be, will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash Eddie today. All right, Marty, you're up. All right, so every time I have never left the, the carnival without one, so I'm going with fried Oreos. I have to go with fried Oreos. Oh, yes. Every single time I go, 
I make sure I get it. So and Carl that's sounded like he was about to come when you said that because it's such a great carnival food and it's only it's available so in like these environments. It's one of those things where it's like, why isn't this on the menu at, a, at like a late night food place? Like, why? What? How hard could it be to just deep fry Oreos just and why throw it in so some fucking good. some some funnel cake batter? Throw it in the fryer. I gotta say, I've I never had a fried Oreo. It should like be on most though. menus. Do you seek them out when you get there? Like, how's your process of getting them, or is it like you just know you're gonna run into them later? No, I. That's my first. Like, it's my first order of business. I go see where the stand is, and then I plan out my what games I'm gonna play, what rides, and then what time I'm gonna go around to mm-hmm. the, the fried Oreos. Because you know you can't go on before the rides and stuff. No, right? You barf it out. No, that's like yeah. a. That's like a. You work your way towards that. I mean, oh, yeah. fried Oreos, and it was also a thing that those were invented at a fair or carnival. Oh, really? I mean, it had to be, right? Uh, yeah, so I mean, so you just made that up. Well, I mean, they, what do you? This is that's where you get them at. It's the same thing like a funnel cake. It's one of those things where you really only get them at there. What are you looking? You looking it up? <laughs> <laughs> so it says they only go back to 2004, which shocks me. But it, oh. guess where they were invented? <laughs> The L.A. County Fair. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> See? No, that's, that's a good like pick. unbelievable. Don't was, they look delicious? Yeah, they're good. That yeah. was on my list I mean, of anything fried is fucking good. Mm. These fairs really know how to do it. So if I couldn't get funnel cake, I was going to throw fried Oreo in it like late round. It was going to be like a try and be a sleeper. But I'm surprised you didn't take something else, though. But that's all I'm going to say. Whoa. I'm surprised. I'll take it. You're corn, up. Corn dog. Yeah, I thought yeah. Marty was. I'm shocked you didn't take corn dog, Marty. I that was on my list, but I I really like I love corn dogs. I had six, but like, funnel uh, or fried Oreos is my favorite thing in the world. I, I I'm okay with losing out the corn dog. Thank you for bringing Good integrity thing. and drafting with your heart back to this draft. Yes, it's that not is enough true. of that. Corn dog is a that's a fan favorite. I feel, but fried mm-hmm. Oreos deep deep to me. I I'm having a hard time coming up with. Uh, like a fourth food. That's why I had to take it there. Because funnel oh, yeah? cake's the number one. I yep. do think corn dog <laughs> is the number two. I think I can only think of one I think one there's other. two more obvious, and I'm really yeah. scared because I don't want to get – I didn't want to get stuck with either, and I definitely don't want to get stuck with this other one. <laughs> and this all, the one that I'm thinking of kind of fits White Sox Dave, so I hope he gets it. But uh, regardless, you're right. Mm. It's it's thin. It's thin. Yeah. Why do you do that? I just always, I'm always trying to figure out what's going on in there, and I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Eddie's a hard guy to read. Am I wrong, Marty? He is. He is. He always. I hate when he says he's got things in his head, and I feel like I should know him. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Uh, that's incredible value. I think at five. I, I think so too. A good fair corn dog is mm-hmm. fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. They're so different. Good. They are different. They're the ones they you heat different. up from Costco or Sam's Club. You guys remember Giannis's post? Have you anybody seen that? Now that's getting circulated. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I uh, I just discovered America's yeah, corn dogs smooth, in like yeah. 2013. Yeah, <laughs> we had that, and I just had a smoothie for the first time too. God Gian- bless Giannis America. Giannis time of the week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, good pick. Shitty process. Mm-hmm. Do you like food. corn dogs? Yeah, okay. I mean. When in Rome at a, at a carnival, yeah, I'm like absolutely that's, getting one. Like but it's I don't, not like I don't think I've had one since I had one at like the Minnesota State Fair in like 2009. But mm-hmm. they're good. They are good. Yeah. Really, it's your last corn dog 12 years I ago. I think so. I mean, I don't. I don't Damn. I'm, I'm, no, no, I've, I've had. I've had life. Life. You gotta get more corn dogs. You do. They're not like readily available everywhere. No, I know. You can get them like frozen, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not doing that. Not no, the yeah, I'm not yeah. doing that. The breading's like wet and soft. Yeah, it's gross. You don't want that. Right. You don't fry it yourself either. You just throw it in the oven or the microwave. Um, all right, you're up again. All right, so I guess I'll go with miscellaneous. And this is, I feel like this is not going to play well on the graphic, but whatever. I'm thinking of specifically like Swedish days growing up. Swedish days is like a big thing it's, in yeah. uh, Geneva, which mm-hmm. is the next town over. And that was like getting when you're in middle school just getting dropped off by your parents like so just getting dropped off by your parents and then you just have like free reign of terror with your buddies just running around so i'm just gonna say getting dropped off or getting dropped off by your parents was it about that car ride that you like about it it's not well the anticipation the buzz <laughs> you're meeting your buddies and maybe you have one in the car with you, you it's do a the car. fucking buzz <laughs> yeah so getting dropped off um at the carnival Dave? I gotta be honest. I love that pick. <laughs> I think you could have gotten it in the fifth round. No one else. Well, my fifth round. Late. I have something for the fifth round. 
What so, could you possibly have? You just took your. I'm I mean, taking the musical act in the fifth round, of course. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm not, yeah okay. Yeah. We're just everybody's showing a lot of cards today. Well, well I everybody's think, hand I think is everybody, on the table. Every just let's just play let's just play heads up the rest of the way. You feel like you just came back and it's just chaos. There is absolute <laughs> chaos going in here. I've heard six picks out of order. I actually, but I love it. I mean, this is what we're here for. Chief, Get, that's a great pick. It's creative, and I think that's kind of that. I did have a, the same feeling I had now when. Is when the first time we had a guest on, who was our first guest? Rico? Yeah. 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 And what was the, we were doing sequels. Yeah. And he mm -hmm. took the Bible. He took, did he take the, the New Testament? The New Testament. Yeah. And did he take World War II? Correct. Which were both on my list, and I didn't think Rico was going to have it. So I was disappointed, but those were great picks. That was the first time in Snake Draft history when I was like, oh, that's outside the box. And that just rekindled that same feeling, Chief. That was a very good pick. I think that's super Thank creative. You. It's, there was nothing like getting drunk. You knew like you were going to fucking. Yeah, you had yeah. that little antsy. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it's just like you, you knew you were just probably going to be a little dickhead that day. Right. Yeah. So you're <laughs> like, you're going to get in some trouble. Yeah. Exactly. You're 13. You might talk shit to the carnies and then get scared and, ran, and run away. Like that was the thing that I would always do. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I love that feeling of just being like the next four hours are just for me and my buddies in downtown St. Charles or wherever we were, like, or Geneva. Like it was great. And you're just walking up on those lights. I mean, that's like walking into the batter's box. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. The only cut I have to it. The only con I have to it is that I feel like riding your bikes with your boys was a part of it too. See, we like, that might be a city thing. We no one lived close enough to it. Okay. In, right. in the and the other I mean? thing is like is thing. when you're like you know 13, 14, 15 years old, you're allowed to kind of go out on your own a little bit, but not quite yet. Yeah. That isn't exclusive to carnivals. Like you could do that at the movie theater or the mall or whatever, and you yeah. get that same kind of feel. Yep. That's true, Dave. Dave, that was a point for your brain today. Man, Thank you. Man, he's really pulling apart. Fuck I mean, it's not difficult. Don't look at the kid. <laughs> Jesus. Um, Try. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Mush, what was your I, first age I you got to go hang out alone with that's your that's friends? So I bet it was like 10. Were you going to carnivals when you what were was? like... Were you going to carnivals when you were like 9, 10 years old with your buddies? Or like... Bro, I, I was going until I was like 18. Like I was... I've been going for long. Yeah, always at my church. It was the fucking best. You meet up. I'm, I got carnivals of the best. Yeah, a good a good church is solid. What year did you start, though, Marty? He asked. Oh, I started like yeah, around like probably ten years old. Pretty young, yeah. Yeah. Because I'd say the other bring up. I'm sorry, church carnivals like that is the one thing you could just unite across. I'm going to Greek Orthodox fest. I'm going to fucking Eastern <laughs> yeah. Orthodox. I'm going to the Lutheran, a little Baptist. Anybody who's throwing a fest, I don't care what the church or the religion is. I'm there. I'm bringing the cash. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Carnivals are the great yeah. uniting yeah. of religions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Great call, uh, Marty. You're up again. Again, I don't know. <sighs> You first of all, Ed, you making me you make me nervous during these fucking stupid things, and I'm never gonna come back. I I overthink things. Well, I'm you're gonna be suspended for a long time after this draft, so just make your you fucking pick. You should be suspended. After, you just literally rigged the last draft. Yeah, that's true. That is true. I didn't yes. rig shit. You knew exactly what was going on, but I am onus probandi. <laughs> Do you speak Latin, Mush? No, I don't. Don't speak Latin, Dave. Well, Google it's actually it. no one. No I'm one going. speaks it anymore. No one speaks it. Tell them that it's an extinct Some spoken like, language. Like they don't speak it. Don't they speak nope. it in Catholic churches here and there, like no. super Orthodox Catholic churches or some shit? It's an extinct language, Marty. What are you? What are you intimidated by? What's what? What's wrong? Every word out of my mouth, I'm intimidated by. I feel like that. I'm every pick is like there's judgment. There's oh, you could have got it later. It's very frustrating, right? It's, it's nerve wracking to be on the show. Good, that's what we want. But I'm trying to be like like I like cheap is my favorite drafter because he stays dear to his heart mm -hmm. every time. Like I know Dave Pandas, even though he's just too dumb. You know, like he always. How do you figure it. that? Like, like I actively like, avoid oh. taking the chalk picks every single week. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You think you're not pandering because, like, oh, this is what everyone likes, but you don't know what everyone likes. You know what I mean? You don't think I got a grasp on pop culture? I know exactly what everybody likes. I'm balls deep in no pop culture. Oh man, world, man. <laughs> you're in that old your old world every time. All right, uh, Marty, it's your pick. <laughs> 
I'm going. I love the. I love it every time. I'm going with the swings. I love the swings. So like the carousel swing. The fucking no, swings. the ones old, that yeah. have like the thirty foot yeah. chains. Yeah. It's like, 80, yeah, there's like 80 swings on it. You're actually you're pretty high up, and if one of those chains got loose, you're you're dead. You're dead. Yeah. <laughs> What's that, the proper the, name though? I. It's not just swings, right? Yeah, I would call yeah. it a swing. I, well, yeah. we're gonna have visuals for yeah, this, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, I don't know what else you would call it besides a swing. Yeah, I got like a carousel a swing. I don't know. I've never heard that before, but it's kind of it's like it, it goes is in kinda, circle. It like is kind of like a carousel. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is that I, what you would call it? I just called it the swinger ride. That's what I always call it. It's called the crazy wave swinger ride. The swing ride. Yeah, it's just it's called swing ride. Or swing chair ride. swing ride. The chair swing ride. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Surprisingly, good pick, Marty. Why is that surprising? Well, I mean, the guy, he's like, you could tell he's like nervous. He's on and like, He's worried he's on about full his pick. Tilt. He tried to filibuster before even making that. Pick. I know. Uh, he, he's I not, think. he doesn't have the mental aptitude to filibuster. <laughs> he was just talking to talk right there. What the fuck are you saying? I mean, everybody else. Very, very, very easily understood what I said. <laughs> I didn't even stutter there, and I usually always stutter. <laughs> um, what do you like about the swings, Marty? I love the rush, man. The the wind in your face, and I love that you can actually like swing yourself on there too to make it a little more intimidating. So I yes, all the carnival rides have an element of danger to them because you know like. Who knows? On they the don't last take day. good care yeah, of those right. things. And, uh, like that fucking so screw might be loose. Someone it might be rusted out. By the end of the tour, they're like they're trying to have less than three deaths. I think that's their goal. The swings are the only one that don't have like the big puke factor, which I think is a good reason to draft them. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what you don't want the ones that but, are puke. But and here's like, the thing. The best thing about the swings, there's no seatbelt. It's just like one bar. They pull down, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not doing shit. It. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And it's just, Marty, it Marty, Marty, Marty. Link. you're going so fast yeah. and around the around that carousel or circle so quickly that centripetal force kicks in. You know what centripetal force is? <laughs> no, you don't. Ed, are you, can you talk up? Are you up trying up? to explain what force is to me? Yeah, don't. Didn't you ever take a fucking <laughs> physics class, you moron? Yeah, I took the physics. I went. I took it to go to fucking Six Flags. <laughs> Then That's you should know it. Since it. If you, if all right, so you went to Six Flags with your eighth grade physics class, you should know yeah. what centripetal force is. Isn't that like with gravity? What'd you call it? Mm. Centripetal force. <laughs> I think that's centrifugal force. Centrifugal. Cent <laughs> yeah, centripetal force. You're centrifugal. Trifugal. Trifugal. I was directionally correct. You know what I was getting at? <laughs> I still get a point for Eddie. Do I get a point I, in the brain off? You get a point in the brain off. Thank okay. you. Um, do you view, is this a worthy first round ride? Second. I would say second it's ride, number but first, two ride. First ride overall, sorry. Yeah, no, uh, maybe. Because it is unique say, to Carnival. They, they are at Six Flags. These are popular at Six Flags. Yeah, they're they're at most amusement parks. They're, they're it, right at, I mean, carnivals are meant for little kids. It's like right on the edge of a little kid ride. I'd see, I'm surprised that Carnies, who we have... You know, again, without hearing their side of the story, it seems like society has just generally dubbed them as a risky population. And then we give them like the riskiest amusement rides. Like, <laughs> I don't know how they're a, like how they get the yeah, check I, to sign off, like who signs like, off on them being able to operate mm -hmm. a 30 foot wave runner swing like, ride. What, what's the permit process? Exactly. Yeah. Like, do they do they do even you, have the insurance? Yeah, dude, not even making jokes. And like, this is very serious. But I don't know if you've ever seen the video from the Ohio State Fair. A couple years ago, mm -hmm. it's like the scariest video of all time. Like a ride comes apart. Yeah, but we. So I know there's one let just happened like a couple, like a month ago. Did it? Yeah, it's like a viral video on TikTok. I don't, I won't say the ride. Oh, is that that right? happened? Yeah, but this is there's one that happened in 2017. Yeah, it was. It's bad. Oh, um, I feel like we've talked about it on the show. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe yeah, yeah. Oh, we, we talked about it on uh, Chicago radio. On somebody. Oh yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. fucking. It was bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, to be fair, I think it's a it's worthy of a first overall uh, ride. I think it's iconic. I the swing. I don't think it. Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know about iconic, but it's certainly everyone's gone on it though. Like this is a ride. A like stable. yes, it's intermediate. Like even if you're a pussy and you're afraid of rides, like you're going on this. Yeah. This For, is this is the cheap ride. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't like roller coasters. 
I, I'm fine with roller coasters at Six Flags. I actually like them at Six Flags. I will not set foot on something like one of the bigger contraptions at a fair. Anymore. Okay. Well, I think that like the whole part of a carnival, well, part of the like aura of a car- carnival is the is the feeling that you might die on one of the rides. Like that goes into the rush a little bit, mm-hmm. knowing in the back of your head that this thing might just fucking. Like, you might fly off and just, like, launch 300 (laughs) yards down the road out of the church parking lot. You might be confusing carnivals with extreme sports, Dave. Skydiving. I mean, going to a carnival pretty much is an extreme sport if you think about it. I mean, you're eating enough food to make your heart pop. The fact that we don't have a carnival vertical is, you know, we don't have, like, a guy doing carnivals. (laughs) I think we would clean up. (laughs) Who would be the guy for that? (laughs) Um, I mean... I feel like it's it's Frank and somebody. I think Ron and Chaps would be funny. <laughs> the carnival guys? Yeah. yeah. All right, the chair swing ride is off the board. White Sox, Dave, you're up. See, I think <laughs> this is the absolute clear-cut number one ride, and it's a pirate ship ride where you Ooh. just swing back and forth, and it's the tallest ride usually, so you could see it first, and it's got all the sparkly lights mm-hmm. and everything. You get on there, and you get to the peak when it's about to go back the other way, and you're like looking straight down at a 90-degree angle. And you're like hanging on for dear life. You're, on, you're, you're suspended w- in midair. Yeah, you're you're so, yeah for like a split second. Yeah. You're like just hanging there. Would you wait in line longer to be the the last cart or the last row? Hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like always fun because you're. The, yeah. It's more extreme on the ends of the pirate ship. Yes, I think that is the by far and away number one ride. What's the name of it? The pirate ship ride. That's I what would I mean. Call yeah, it I would just ship call it the pirate ship. Yeah. They all have their like wacky People names, but no one ever uses them. What do you say? Like it's, I think you're right. It's like I think it's like number one, number two ride. But some people are like, like terrified of that ride. Dude, it. You were chief was talking about how your pick, like it's got the non puke factor. I think, like I said, part of going to a carnival is the, like the whole experience is that you, you might want puke. To puke. Is that stuff that you want puke? It's that you might puke. You want to risk puke. Yeah. Okay. You're like, you're, you know, you're towing that line. And it it just gives you that fucking pitting feeling in your stomach when you're on the way down. And you can't wait to get off it. And it's, you know, I love it. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Pirate ship ride deserves to be picked. It deserves to be picked. For sure. Um, I like the real lit up like Dave's talking about. Like it looks like a <laughs> the LED fucking, lights and yeah. half of them are all all burnt out. Anyways, now, do you need a very macho pirate on the pirate ship? I like a macho a macho carny like dressed in the part, you okay. know, letting people on. That, that that's the first ride you hear when you walk. You hear the, the scream <laughs> and, the, and the screams. Yeah, you hear the screams. <laughs> that's a feeling. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true. Thank you, thank you for that. Actually, that's more points to why the pirate ship ride is the number one ride at a carnival. I'm shocked you didn't take a different one though. A ride? Yeah. See, this is I have a ride. Of super- <laughs> I mean, that, this there's. Is where it's like, I, yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> I'll, I'm gonna take it now, actually. But this is day. Well, fuck. I'm between two rides. Ah, <sighs> I'm gonna take the most iconic one. I take it back. Marty's is not the most iconic. Well, there's this there's one. one more iconic. One. It's the fucking Ferris wheel, yeah. and that's my it's, pick. It's also the wow. lamest one, though. Sure, it's lame, that's but awful. what'd you say? Awful pick. Oh, I think it's awful too. It's no, there's so some bad. good reasons here, and this is why. Tell Carl, right. tell him why so I'm surprised like, Dave didn't take it. Yeah, because like, he's is, horny. Yeah, <laughs> like this is where like <laughs> this is where like young teenagers' fingers can like find some puss. Like you can. <laughs> I don't, but I don't feel like there's a Ferris wheel at a lot of carnivals, bro. Oh, definitely. There's really? a Ferris wheel at oh, yeah. Yeah. every single one. Of them. Yeah. I mean, the one I'm most familiar with is the St. Helens <laughs> one. They didn't have, ever have a. a but that's a there. little different. I mean, that's the St. Helens. That's in the middle of Augusta. That's not. Yeah. You know, I think that's about as cheap that, as a car. Not cheap, but as low budget as a carnival is going to get with the rides. Of course, yeah. <laughs> They yeah, had cheap. You're right. But, you know, why did I say that? Because it's St. Helens. I don't want to be dis- I don't want to be disrespectful to, yeah. you know. Yeah, see, it's that's why that's why I'm surprised you didn't take it. I mean, it's you you bring up good points. Like I I can safely say I have never 
yeah. gotten any action whatsoever on Same. a Ferris wheel. See, this so is like, I know it's a thing click. and I feel like it's like, it pops up on social media too. Like the silhouette of the girl, like giving a guy a blow job on the, mm. on the Ferris wheel, which, but I was, I didn't grow until I was 17. So I wasn't by that, by that age. Like I'm not going on Ferris wheels. I'm certainly not getting blow jobs. I hope on. not. Yeah. <laughs> So I, uh, yeah, like I know it's a thing, but it just never resonated for me. I think it's an illusion that anything happens on a Ferris wheel. Like I don't think anyone actually really gets puss on a Ferris wheel. I feel like oh, maybe yeah. the like the the big ones, like that big one, the the Eye of London, or that one, uh, or the Navy Pier one here in Chicago. I feel like because it's so big and it takes a long time to get around, that you feel like secure enough. But I. It, this is just in my head. Maybe this is something like it's like an uncharted territory for me that I need to explore. But <laughs> we're not I, talking about like hardcore blowjobs. I'm just talking about like getting. A oh, what's oh, the, what? No, it's the other one. That's what's little the heavy penning. No, yeah. at the music festival. I feel like you always see it at um, what's the one in California? Coachella. Coachella. They always have a big Ferris yeah. wheel there. That's the ones that go viral on social media. Oh, like, well, that, I mean that's that, Coachella. They're probably all yeah. fucking on Molly and everything. Yeah, yeah. You're, Dave, you're honestly gonna sit here and tell me you never cracked the knuckles and just fucking went deep. I <laughs> yes. I I I wish I had a story for you. I got nothing. That's but, the, I mean, but Ferris wheels are so fucking boring that I I don't need like even when I was a kid I wasn't going on them. I doubt. But those I'm sausage. Like I won't go on. Why? It freaked me out. Like those things actually freak me out. Ferris wheels. See, too? yes, that's yep. what I said. Like you think it's like a pussy ride. At the same time, when you're on those and like when it stops and it's like or the shaking wind, the wind's blowing, it, Ferris wheel gets a little, little hairy. Nah, they're not compared the to the pirate rust. ride or other ones. Like you're, but those aren't controlled. Those are supposed to do that. You know what I mean? Like when the, when it jerks back, it's. I'm telling you, pussy. And especially yeah, the Navy pussy. Pier one has a glass floor. That's sweet though. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't like that. I don't like <laughs> oh, that. Glass floor. Nope. I don't like that. No, thank you. Isn't that like the biggest one in the world, or one of them? I don't know. Isn't it? Um, Whatever. Yeah, I, I don't know. That was my. I, I took it because I was surprised you didn't take it. I like another ride a lot too, but I'm happy with the Ferris wheel. There, it's the most there's, iconic. There's two more rides I think that are should be drafted. The other, the fifth one, I think. Through, what has there been? There's been two so or three so far. There's two more that should be drafted, I think. All right, uh, Carl, you're up. Um, all right. Do you guys know the punching bag game? Yeah. In bars, yeah. which is like everybody loves that game. Do it. Just, you do it, a crow hop. Do it. Yeah, it, there is a long-standing original iteration yep. of this game where you measured how hard you could hit something, <laughs> and it's the fucking sledgehammer <laughs> to the hammer game. game. Oh, yeah. And I need that baby on the board. I want yeah. that. Even you watch, you walk by, you're like, eh, how heavy is a sledgehammer? You're like, pick it up for a little Yeah, fine, fuck it. Here's five bucks. I'll do it. And yeah. I mean, if you ever want to embarrass yourself as like a 14-year-old around like a crowd of girls or something, mm -hmm. be a weak little bitch swinging one of those sledgehammers. But I'll tell you, that it's a me. formative experience. It's a great game. And just like Funnel Cakes, you're only going to find it. At a it's a very true to the uh, carnival experience. I feel like it's the most common like if there's a movie or a show where they're doing like a carnival scene that's in every that's in every shot like they just do that like i could just picture it like some old like 50s like time piece where they're like hey like here comes johnny muscles to bang the bell give the stuffed animal to the girl like that's like a it's timeless really timeless bell. classic you're, you're fucking that night like that bell is such a cool noise when yeah you hit that and you're like carl you're like yeah, how heavy is the sledgehammer, huh? Like, <laughs> yeah, you just let me figure that out. Ooh, ooh, they just regripped it. Oh yeah, it's uh, yeah. I I would, it's got good it's got good weight to it. I think yeah, I but it's probably... also like a surefire way to look like a pussy. Yep. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. If you're a fucking Might pussy, have... I would jump up, get that thing behind my back, and get every ounce of my back into that hammer before I hit that bell. Sometimes I would hit it so hard that the little thing that shoots up would just go right through the top. <laughs> No, you can't jump through. over a piece of loose leaf. You couldn't have done that at all. <laughs> have you seen these fucking delts, you idiot? These lats. Um, how do you think I throw a baseball so hard, you Carl? So, moron? so when you when you wrote this down, uh, when when we were talking about this, I started laughing when I put sledgehammer on my list because I thought of the punching bag machine moment in the uh, re recreational dra yep. uh, game draft. Yeah. So I'm very happy you took it. I said, "Well, get." It will get 
And it's like that's the thing. Exactly what I wanted there. It's objectively, it's not the best game. Not no. even close but to it. But it's so carny. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah, but that's the thing. If you're putting your roster together, like it's it's yep. it's it was, carny. It was on my list. It's it was probably if it, if it was there at the end of this round, I was going to take it. So the other thing I'd say is that probably is the best station for a carny. Right. Yeah. To work. Yeah. Dude. Because like you just stand there. You're like really just standing there and just handing the sledge. You're not you're fucking not pulling shit. levers. You don't have to go change some fucking oil. You can also that roast thing probably people. folds up so easily. You don't too. have to reset shit. Yeah, mm. you might have to calibrate it. Fuck. Yeah, maybe. All it's right. also now one of those things where if, if you're an adult, like that's a pulled muscle. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not going anywhere <laughs> near it. I really want to see Dave do it now. Next week, St. Helens. I think it's the first week of August every year. <laughs> All right, let's go. We, uh, we should go scour for some dog walk interviews there. That'd be fun. Um, Carl, you're up again. So I think I'll be able to get my miscellaneous. Later, there's one last key core ride. I'm going to take it, although I would much rather be on the pirate ship. I'd much rather take a stab at the Ferris wheel. I need to throw a carnival. I need to have some name. I'm taking the tilt to whirl. Give me the yep. tilt to whirl, and just let's just pack it up and, and fucking go home. Yep. I don't think there's really much to say on it. Tilt to whirl is like the more cent- it, centrifugal force. It's like it's like teacups on steroids. Oh mm-hmm. yes, 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 yes. I've yeah. never yeah. done this one. When you, it's when you're on the wall, right? And it like lifts no. up. No, no, that's uh. No. Oh, don't no. say that name. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah, don't say that. That's a point for me. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a point for. No, it's that not. one's too. But that one's this too. Is, I don't. That one's too. Uh, Tilt the world looks like another. It, it's like you, it's like a three dimensional. So this is to me the, the I. We'll get to the miscellaneous. Ca- There's this the ride in the most famous carnival ride in. Any kind of movie scene for our generation is like to me the closest iteration of tilt world that's available. Uh, problem with the tilt world, it's like Philip Rivers at this point. It was getting by by its name towards the end of its career. Well, I mean, listen to me. I'm a hundred percent in on this, which is why I open this and say I'd much rather be on the pirate ship. I'd much rather be on the yeah, Ferris yeah, wheel. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah. I don't have, I'm, I'm I know it's a third rounder, but I'm. Taking it has it. the name recognition. Yes, I want the tilt world. But the ride itself is not. Best. Listen, it's not a great fucking ride, okay? We're thin on rides, and I don't <laughs> like the one that you guys are going to bring up because that one's just too fucking dangerous for me. That one's way too I dangerous. Way too dangerous. That one is crazy. Yeah, I love that ride. Which um, now, Chief is the only one who has to take a ride. He doesn't have to take a ride until the fifth round now. Well, yeah, I'll probably take it fourth round because I got music in the fifth. But um, all right, it's to me. Before I make my pick, if you're watching this on YouTube, you see these lovely beef kits in front of myself and Chief and White Sox. Dave Carl's a little out of the shot. Grab that beef kit, Carl. Um, JP Graziano, 901 West Randolph, tasterealchicago.com. You can go on there. You can get your beef kit. You can um, make Italian beef in your house, Dave. How easy is it? It's the easiest thing on earth. All you got to do is get your, your what is it, the, the beef, throw it in the crock pot, Dump all the ingredients in, let her fly for eight hours, and that is it. Greatest thing on ever. And football season is only a little over a month away. Yeah. You're going to want this for football season. You want to know how to do it. This is easily, easily the number one way, I think, that we've, like, satisfied our audience. Oh, Oh, Like, if you had to rate the people who've bought this and you've this and have reached out to us, it's like life. That's a 9.9. I love this shit. I'm so happy we're doing this stuff. Get, a, get an Italian beef for your home. And I feel like it's so many people all around the country like, oh, I'll try that. Yeah. And it's, you know. Like yeah, I because, I mean, we obviously are Chicago brand, and we talk about Italian beefs, which is a very, very Chicago-specific mm-hmm. delicacy, and people want to get in on that. You can do that on your own. All you got to go do is go to tasterealchicago.com and get your beef kit. Marty, have you had one yet? I was going to say, I'm going to be honest, you guys talk about it so much, and the packaging looks unbelievable, and I heard how good it is, so I have, I want to get in on it as well. We'll send you one. There Marty, you can your dumb brain operate a uh, crock pot? <laughs> you think I do crock pots? Exactly. you do crock pots? Yeah, that's how you make this. Do you not? No, you could do it well other ways. Put it in a pot, a regular pot. He's losing this. <laughs> Why would you do that when you can have it in a crock pot? It's temperature controlled. Yeah, you, you, you set know, the timer I'm, and you leave it I'm there. 
I to be honest, I don't know how to work cross <laughs> Eddie? But, I mean, he's he's lapping you at this point. <laughs> this is not good for You're right. I'm not a crockpot guy. I, I, I don't know how to use it. It's not good. You turn the knob, you dump the shit in, and you leave it. That's how easy it is. Even you could do it. Sounds odd, but I'll do it. I'll do it for the beef kit. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm up again. So what do I need? I need musical act, game, or food. Um... I'm gonna go with the game. I, I mean, the basketball—it's—it's—it's it's, it's a regular sport, but it's always fun. It's and, and, and you know you can't not you can't pass it and not take a shot. You have to. You have to take a Steph shot. Steph Curry would shoot like three percent on those. It, I know the, the they yeah. bend the rims in. The balls are like super fucking. You have bouncy. to get the arc to like the moon so it drops straight in. Yeah. I know, and we know that too. Yeah, and you still do mm-hmm. it, you know. Yeah, and I always, when we used to do like the Six Flags mm-hmm. trips, and someone was like, "You," someone was dribbling around the basketball because that was always the prize, right? You shoot the ball, and then they give you a different basketball as a prize. And then the people who would like be in line for a ride, just dribbling, I'm like, "Fuck, that guy must be like Larry Bird. Like he's got to be like the greatest basketball player of all time because <laughs> he's and he's just and he knows it. He just dribbles it around the the park, strutting because he made that shot. But. A big key here, and this is really with any of these games, you got to make sure you do it towards the end of the night. I actually had a buddy who so walked. Carry it. We walked into the park at Six Flags at 10 a.m. He walked up. He drained three threes, and he had three of the biggest stuffed animals you'll ever <laughs> see, and he's just lugging this big-ass turtle around his oh, head. Oh, that's the worst. 3 p.m., Chicago, July, he was sweating his balls off. Mm-hmm. It was, it was tough. Mm-hmm. That is tough. That's yeah. when you just got to give it to a, a, you know, a little kid that's 10 years old that yeah. can't even shoot or a nice – Voluptuous, big-breasted old blonde chick, right, Marty? <laughs> Volump, um, right, Marty? You're criminally horny. It's unbelievable. It's a nice play. What do you want from me? <laughs> um, yeah, so basketball. White Sox, David up. Yeah. So I need just food, music, or miscellaneous. I'm going to go food. I'm going to go cotton candy. Wow. Oh. Oh. I hate cotton candy. I'm so happy you picked that, you loser. That's so bad. <laughs> Cotton candy stinks. How you get that fuck? at a baseball game? You get that anyway. You don't just go to the carnival for cotton candy. Okay, you can't That's ride true. a fucking Ferris wheel. Or let's see, what did you pick? Oh, really? The swings rides at Six Flags, and it's even a better swings ride, bigger and better. I can get cotton candy down the block. It's it is sold at every single carnival ever. Whether or not you and like you, it, it is absolutely synonymous with carnivals. You enjoy it? Not really. <laughs> but that's not what we're picking. We're not picking necessarily what you enjoy. Exactly why shit. I don't. You have no integrity for this. That game. has nothing to do with it. Like I don't. I don't enjoy the fucking tilt a whirl. But that was absolutely something that I would have considered drafting. I don't enjoy shooting basketballs on a bent rim. But that's absolutely part of the carnival experience. See, I like doing that. That's fun. <laughs> I shoot the star game. I actually do like doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you, you can get you can get corn dogs at any fucking grocery store on the planet. It's not those ones. You are already you said guys? earlier that corn dogs are only good at fairs. No, but that's the point. That's it's like a win in Rome thing. Like, oh, we're at a, like it's not. Yeah, but I think cotton candy at the fair also stinks. Okay, maybe it does, but it's at every fair. Sure, but I would never take it. So you're just taking things that you don't even like anymore. So the integrity from this. But that no, has nothing, that has what, nothing that, to do. No, that's not it. We're taking the, the most carnival shit. Do you like, would you hang out with that carny? Yes. No, but I like when they're there. Because I, that, I, I yeah. like to people watch. But exactly. when Cotton Candy's there, I just at walk a, by. At a carnival. But I would not buy it at a carnival. I wouldn't buy it. Anything hardly like the only reason I would eat any of this shit is because I got extra fucking. But you would you, you enjoy funnel cake? You enjoy a corn dog? You don't enjoy cotton candy? Nah, I am upset I don't, you didn't I pick don't the dis- one that I thought you were gonna pick. I, I don't dislike cotton candy. I just don't particularly like it too much. Okay, cotton candy. Um, there's not many things. There's not many things left for you. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you is, like cotton candy? No, I think I, I I I have two left on my board, and I wouldn't. I mean. No. 
I think that it was a, it's valid. It's a pick that's yeah, within the atmosphere yeah. and all that stuff. Um, it's fine where it it's is. It's not a pander pick. It's it's just something that's at every corner. Fair, Listen, yeah. I don't love the tilt whirl either, but it's just like that's exactly. a good pick. Yeah, that's that's, right. that's my fine. point. Mm -hmm. Fuck. All right, Marty, you're up. All right. This one's going to, uh, I don't know how it's going to go over here. I'm going to go with game. Texas, Oklahoma. What? I don't know what it is, but I mean you're trying stinks. to take you're trying to take the the because it's at the Texas State Fair. It's at the Cotton Bowl every year. They play it at the Texas State Fair. I I, don't, is, I like no, it's Dave, not a game. That's not a game that you play. Dave, please handle this, man. What what is he trying to say? I don't even know. He's, what he's trying to take the Red River Shootout. I don't get it. It's like, a game played at the Texas at the Texas State Fair. But it's not a game that you can play. It's not available to you. You're not. You're, I, you're, not, you're not running down on kickoff he's, coverage. No, it, chuck up the V, Dave. Chuck up the V. I I'm not going to because it's outside the box. I will do it. Veto. Carl. Veto. You have been vetoed. Why don't you veto? I gotta ask the panel first. Well, he's like going on record with yeah, basically he like going anything. on record. He knows Richie Weber is gonna be like, oh, R Eddie uh, <laughs> vetoed. Put a put a veto up right now. It was Ed. such a bad pick that Wait, Ed, I didn't it's not want, a record guy. Ed, 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 Ed loves to live in the shadows of the record. I'm trying to bring him out. I yeah. know this is one of his things. Put a veto on the record, Ed. I know you want a veto, which is why you ask other people to do it. Veto, the, say it. This is like playing an extra game when the series is settled in six. No, I think you I think if we do no go point. to a veto process, all four people do have to cast. Yeah, oh, and like there are the unanimous vetoes have been. Well, it's like why were the Suns and the Bucks play Game Seven if the Bucks won the series? Come on, Ed, awful analogy. Come on, awful. why? It's Come a game. On. It's a game. I do. I guess, I agree with the bet. I think you have to throw up a yes or a no. You, you have, have to, to go on it. record. Go on record. Dave didn't. I did. He oh, did he, go oh, on he record. Said no, he said no. Um, Dave said no. Dave said no. No, it's not a majority thing, Marty. It's just it two. It has to be second. I won't be bullied on the show. Dave, yeah, I, know. I just want to see Ed say something. Ed doesn't negotiate with terrorists. Thank you. I would veto that. Yes. Okay. It's such you, a bad see, pick that I wanted Even then, you still it. say, I would veto that. You don't even say, I veto. Yeah. You say, I it, would veto. It's, it's conditional. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's just the way I decided to word it. That's What's your official on the record veto from Ed? What's your pick? Uh, you know, my pick is going to go back with the games. What I blabbered out before the water into the little hole and it flies up when the thing just goes back. Yeah, you know that's I mean? a good game. What's it the called? The water gun into the hole, fly it up. Water that's gun my, into I've the actually, hole. I've actually, I've only lost once at that game. One time, Marty. I bet you I could beat you at that game. <laughs> Any day of the week, I like won't lose. Did you? I found I out this game, how, how they rig this game. How do they rig it? They give like a different slot the water pressure. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I heard. At least. Why would they? What's well, the point of doing that? I don't know. So you're just adept at picking which water gun <laughs> has the most water pressure coming out of it. You can just yeah, do that by I looking also, at the score gun. I also don't miss the target once ever. Damn. You get it right from the jump? That's not right. Not You, I don't you definitely that. need a, a second I to adjust. I have unbelievable with the gun. You need a second to adjust. Everybody does. So you're taking that one, not the balloon one, right? Fuck the balloon one. We heard it this week. It sounds like, like fucking bad shit's happening. It's so loud. Yeah, mm -hmm. that one's too much. <laughs> Right. Uh, water gun game is a classic. That's yeah, that's a, a great pick. one. Uh, Chief, you're up. So I need a ride and a game. I'll take for this first round or third round, I'll take the ride and I'll take uh, bumper cars. So bumper cars, that's one where it's like the only thing about sports. What's your face, Dave? <laughs> it's the only thing about sports I miss is hitting people. And because you just can't walk around hitting people out as an adult, even though you would love to. Bumper cars can, I feel like I haven't done it in a long time, but that gives you that same kind of sensation where you're allowed to just bash somebody for fun. What's your face? You're like, I mean, you're perplexed. I, I, I'm perplexed because I don't know if I've ever seen that at a carnival. What are you talking I, about? I could be wrong there, but I look at Carl, you're looking at me. He had a similar face. It's, they're available at carnivals. 
they're carnival, like carnivals, fairs. Yeah. Yeah. They're just the. They're they're much shittier versions at the carnivals than they are at like the fucking batting cages and stuff. Or like when they when you'd have like the go karts would be set up. You know, you'd have like the fixed bumper cart place. Are, are you guys vetoing this? No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, no I like the pick. I was actually thinking about bumper cars, but I was like, I don't like putting. Bu- I like it. It's I, at less. It's, no, it's, it's at good. less because the people need to bring the floor. Like you know, it's it's not as uh, accessible as you think. It was at the Kane County Fair. I can promise you that. It's at Swedish no, it's days. There. It's there. Don't get me that. wrong. But so yeah. once we get past I availability, I'm sorry, Marty. Go ahead. I don't fuck with pump because why not? Whiplash and shit. It's 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 dangerous out. I mean, it is dangerous. Them. Yeah, it is dangerous. You better buckle up. Better be ready. Head on a swivel. <laughs> oh Jesus. I think bumper cars is a great pick. I'm surprised that it's getting any type of pushback here. I mean, like. It's a good once you get uh, out there and you're going, it's good. I yeah, think that yeah. there is a very, very, very easy one that is just. I don't like carnival rides in general. This is one that I enjoy. Okay, so now we all have a ride picked. I don't. You don't want to fucking. We enjoy all have a ride that. picked, yeah. right? I so do. I don't want to wait till miscellaneous. Maybe, I'm just gonna say it. Gravitron's way too dangerous for me. Is that I what love, you were saying? Yeah, I love. Yeah. I love. Which one is that? That's the one where it goes up and down. Okay, that's yeah. and it, it spins, spins the yeah. shit out of you. And you could, that's that? the one. I, that's what I thought. Tilt a world. What did you say, Marty? Someone just picked the grab. No, 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 no. We just named it because everybody has a ride around. Everybody okay, has a ride. I would like the teacups is what we should have gone with. I hate teacups. What I do you hate, hate about? It's not what you like or not. It's what is more like about the carnival no. atmosphere. No. Hold on. Let's let's Dave. come back. Let's come back to that. I'm with Dave. I mean, let's come back to that in miscellaneous. We'll, we'll, what is what is Marty? Marty, you had a comment. I'm sorry. We, I don't think we heard you. He doesn't do bumper. The graviton oh. is fucking that. I wanted to pick that, but like that's like you can't do that once you get a little older. And but the rush of like when you're stuck on that wall and you think you're gonna try and get off it to see if you can have any power. Yeah, one you of the best try rushes. to lift your arms up and everything. See, I feel like yeah. I. I've you got the only... crazy fucks that go upside down. Yeah, see, I've only ever Those seen people that. Are nuts. I've seen that at Six Flags. I, like I don't dangerous. remember seeing it at a. Oh, it's at every run. Really? Oh yeah. Gravitron. Mm. See, I, I feel I like say. bumper cars are more popular or more prevalent than Gravitron. No, I wouldn't mm. say so at all. Yeah. I think. All right. I guess yeah. I'm off base. Um, then. Bumper cars. What's your next pick? Uh, this is more. This is definitely more of a carnival, and I'm specifically thinking of like. I don't know if you guys ever experienced this, but where you would have like a company picnic. I feel like they're very popular at those. But the dunk tank, you have somebody on like a boss or just somebody and then you just have to get them wet you just throw that ball and you hit the little bell it's almost as satisfying as the ha- the sledgehammer thing and if it is a corporate type thing we had a guy who just like beamed our boss this is my first job out of college working for some like marketing company hit our boss and then just walked off and we never saw anybody again so the boss was on the dunk tank you're supposed to go to the bell throws it at the boss knocks the boss off the little stool and then just jet it never came back to work that was his last day. Wow. So I have a uh, way to go. That's quite the way to go. And uh, I don't know if he got fired or if he just quit, but he just never came back. Um, but the dunk tank, I feel like, is a very satisfying carnival game. It's a good pick. You got to have softballs. You got to have the 12-inch hard-covered mm-hmm. softballs. For, yep. uh, I just think that's fair. Does yep. everybody got a game now, too? Well, hold on. No, let's no, let's, no, let's, no, let's no, keep no. Just this keep going. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. I pulled grab. Yeah. That was my it's, mistake. It's all right. Um, um but dunk, dunk tank, I feel like you. If we ever do a Black Cyber Monday, I feel like you and Jared Part Two should be accuracy. We should get a dunk tank. Mm. Eesh. What? <laughs> I don't do accuracy yet. No. I grip and rip. Ooh. I go up there chucking. <laughs> well, it sounds like Jared would want to do this one then. Um, dunk tank off the board, Marty. You're up. Um, I'm gonna go miscellaneous. I'm gonna go accusing the carnies for cheating in the games. <laughs> Great pick. Marty, that might be the best pick in the history of your two snake drafts. Definitely. That was huge. I was waiting for that one. I that's nothing better than yelling at a 14 year old kid or a 17 year old kid that they are there's magnets or something that's going on in the game. The water pressure in this gun doesn't work. 
Yes. Speaking exactly. of which, this weekend of the short, Spider was just giving it to these comics. <laughs> <laughs> he was like fucking was going in on that kid, dude. <laughs> like First was... name and all, videotaping him, being like, "You're a fucking cheater." <laughs> like he was Lupinella kicking dirt on the plate. He was going in on it. It was so funny. I kind of feel like you guys have an unfair advantage since uh, carnival just went there. stuff is like so prevalent in your mind. <laughs> I know. Although yeah, Marty is isn't true. dead last here, so that's a great pick, Martin. That great is pick, very good pick, good pick. I well, sorry, one more dawn of the duck tank. It's always disgusting how the water looks at the end of the. Oh day. yeah, it's like gross, gross, gross. yeah, gross, Ugh. gross. That's got to be one of the most insanitary things that we do as an American society. <laughs> is the dunk tank? The dunk tank. You don't think they put a little uh, chlorine, chlorine in? tablet? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't think so. But they should. What do you think first? What do you think is worse, that or the uh, the wave pool at like Swiss Splash at like uh, at water parks? Have you ever seen the videos of the ones in, in China where it's just like an actual typhoon in like tidal wave? Well, and they also just like every square inch of <laughs> oh, it's just overcrowded. It's yeah. just like yeah. they're like they have yeah. to have like multiple drownings in those things like all the time. Just, yeah, it's, yeah. Hard, it's hard to watch. Yeah, um, yeah, good pick, Marty. But the dunk tank's grosser. Hey. Yeah. Uh, White Sox, Dave. All right. I'm going to go miscellaneous, and I'm going to go the smell of fried food when you walk into the park. It's like when you walk into Sox Park, you can smell the onions. When you walk into uh, – What about just the smell? Is that what you're looking for? You want well, the fried it's, it's specific. That's what the smell is. You're, so you're taking the funnel cake smell? The Well, it's not just <laughs> corn dogs is fried. The fried Oreos is fried. So the fryers. Yeah, small the fried food. Okay. The aroma. It is an aroma. I love that smell. It's definitely an aroma. Mm -hmm. Is it a candle? So is a Yankee candle have a fragrance for that? They should if they don't. Carney. Carnival food? <laughs> can, can we make candles and sell them? Just carny? And it'll be the smell of like <laughs> super used grease and and dough. <laughs> I like it. Smell of fried food, White Sox Dave. Everybody likes it. People don't. No. Nah, that's a good pick. But it's almost like I, the reason I asked if it was like the funnel cake is I feel like that is to me it's that's the smell. It's you smell the funnel cake more than the corn dogs yeah. or the other fried stuff. It's so all it's, it's all it's the fryer. I know, but it is like if you were gonna be like, oh, this is the more intense version of whatever I'm smelling in the air. It's the funnel cake. Maybe. And that. But was, you're using all the same dough these. for that shit. What did you no, say, no. Marty? You don't think I'm using this another scent? Another scent. All right. Scent. Is it scent or scent? Scent. Scent. All right. No, 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 no. I'm. No, I'm. You guys are all wrong. A scent. A scent? No. A scent is a six. <laughs> the six cent. No. Ed. I mean, it's no, unbelievable. I'm not talking about a smell. Ed. I'm not talking about a smell. Oh, what are you talking oh, about? You're saying you're like the five be... senses. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh. Ed. Okay. Yes. This brain, I this dumb brain off is I becoming apologize. a massacre. <laughs> a massacre for a guy no, who was talking Mark about a chain down gun <laughs> earlier. I ain't he seen a beating like this since someone stuck a banana down my pants and turned a monkey loose. Don't lose it over there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. No, I'm not, it's I'm, not my I'm line, though. At, it's, it's Cousin Eddie's I'm laughing line. at the previous comment. I know he loves that line. <laughs> Um, all right, Smanny, musical act or food? I got to go food here. Um, Take it. I don't want to, but when you get to it, and it's really one of the only times I like want to have this beverage, and they fucking hit you with a full court press on it, it's the lemonade. It's You, you can't walk two feet without seeing a lemonade sign. And the you see the little like filter things with all the lemonade trickling down. Exactly, yeah. and the, the, the plastic... Can, uh, whatever the cup they give it to you in mm -hmm. is always nice. It's got the bendy straw. You can cap it up, stick the straw into the hole. Um, yeah, the lemonade shake up is my pick. Mm -hmm. Those are very good. I think they have those at Arlington too, or like close. Yeah, something they, like yeah, that. They, they do. Where they have like really fresh. Is it's, that what I'm thinking about? Where it's like a lemonade stand where they've got the lemonades. They're cut in half. You know, like they don't use actual lemonades at there. No, they go the cheap. It's like imitation lemon flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they still fucking cut the lemon in half and give you half a lemon. Do they? I think right. so. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is a nice touch. Mm -hmm. yeah, it is they, a nice they touch. They do do that. But you know what I mean? This there's not like behind what like this is probably even over any food. This is advertised more. 
Yeah, it's the number one beverage. Yes. For sure. Uh, and it is, yeah, it's a top food item. The, someone explained to me, Chief brought this up with funnel cake. Now I'm just thinking about thinking about carnivals like this now. The margins on lemonade just have to be that's through the roof. And that's large. probably why they market it so much. Yeah. Three ninety five for a large probably costs them maybe ten cents to make it. Yeah. Five cents for the for the cup and then yeah, five cents for ingredients. Maybe. Maybe. And to be fair, I they do even, a good job of marketing it. Mm -hmm. like it's yeah. like it it fresh lemonade. lemonade. It Man, is. Do I want a lemonade? It's like like yeah, the, the shake up. Good lemonade. Hey, yeah. when you when you guys would hit up the the uh, carnival in high school, would you get a lemonade and you know throw some of that water bottle vodka in there? That was that was always a good move. You had to. It's you a had good move. to. Um, and then by the time you were done, you were just completely fucking sloshed. Well, I mean, we we're very responsible. Yeah. So lemonade shake up off the board. Carl, you're up. You need a miscellaneous and a musical group. Okay, miscellaneous. This is you're just like walking around the carnival, and then maybe you go from like the food station, or you come out of the porta potty. In the middle, though, there's these kiosks. I don't know if this is gonna play well on the graphic, but the kiosks where you can put the quarters in, and then they like sweep the quarters. The quarter you, game. Yeah, like the quarter game. Is that so, a, that's your miscellaneous? Yeah. Is that a game? Nah, I, I thought games would be administered by carnies. I thought that was like, you know, you win a prize I, I, and stuff. You this bring is up pretty... a good point. I think, I think that could be fair. Hmm. What do you think? I don't really know what you're talking about, yeah. so I can't be. You remember you put the quarter in and it just, like, it just sweeps the quarters and they like fall down to you? You never played that? I don't oh, know what you're like, talking I like about. vaguely, but. I, uh, I think like they... So what's it called? Just a quarter game? Right? I don't know. I know what you're talking about. You gotta like put. Would you say it's a lot? That's or more no? like an arcade game. I feel like. I feel yeah, like you can. Yeah. They're, they're at Dave and Buster's and shit. Didn't I just say that? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I, know, I couldn't hear. hear. There's like a there's like a a clash when you talk sometimes here. Um, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, what do you think? I, I think. I mean, if you want to take the quarter game, I'm fine with it. I mean, there's there's another thing I could you know I got a couple things I could go miscellaneous with emotions if you guys don't want me to have two games on there. I, it's not to me. I didn't I didn't see it as like the way we were talking about games like you win a prize and all stuff. Like I'm not vetoing. Like, like, I, I think I I I I, like, I would. I would I'm not vetoing. It. I think it's dumping quarters into a machine. I love that game. I'm a sucker for that game. Or sometimes, maybe like playing that game. Sometimes like, I'll know. put a twenty on top and you like just try to get the twenty. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. No, I've. It's as big as like a Cracker Barrel. And then sometimes. Oh, okay. Uh, then I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's fine. You don't seem thrilled anymore. I love the pick. <laughs> I would have appreciated better banter about that pick because I've lost so much money on that game. And it's like, to me, St. Catherine's Carnival, I from maybe like 2001 to 2000. Yeah, like 1999 to 2001, I probably lost. A hundred dollars playing the quarter game. It's a great game. I, I play it. Now that I think about it, do you guys want to get into the carny business? Nope. Because I feel like there's just great margins here. Pass. <laughs> oh, you mean margins. get into it like like run a carnival? Run a carnival, yeah. And we can use it to like you I know mean, money launder and all that stuff. Don't act like this is one of Ed's great callings is to be oh, the fucking would... ringleader of a whole army of carnies. I think it is. Like you, you said it perfectly. Like that is. Let's do it. I'm just, I'm just picturing Ed being like in, t in charge of HR at a carnival. Yeah. Like all these people coming in. So what do you mean he <laughs> fucking? What do you mean he stabbed you? Like what do you mean? All right, don't do it again. I mean, be honest. You're the bearded lady. The stuff's gonna happen. <laughs> I'll do it, Dave. I, I get to call the shots, and you got to go out there and entertain the people. Hey, I think that's a perfect. Uh, uh, Delineation of powers. He just made you a carny. I I would be a great carny. <laughs> I don't. I, I. How is that an insult? Have you met a carny? I. I don't want to say it. I'll probably get in trouble. But say it. I got a cousin who married a carny, and he's every bit as fucked up as you can imagine. <laughs> That's great. What's his name? What is his name? It's been a minute. Is but he, he's 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 not all there. Let's just say that. Okay. All right. Quarter game off the board. Before the draft. Yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, to me, that's a classic. I don't know that. I'm sorry, you guys don't know what more from. Or, I think that was classic. But 
all right, who's the musical act? Finally, we're going to run it down here. <laughs> it's on you, Ed. Oh, no, no, it's, it's Carl. Carl. All right. I'm taking... I'm ta- This will be interesting. We'll see how this gets received. I'm taking uh, a band where the, the lead singer went to my high school. Oh, I, yeah. I know you're taking I have yeah. to do it. Hey, I'm, I think I'm, it's a good pick. I'm taking Ario Speed yeah, Wagon. Yeah, Ario. That, they're at every fucking fair on earth. And <laughs> yeah, they're at Rib Fest. Yeah, picture they them are playing Roll With The Changes. Awesome. Yeah, Awesome they, life. They're awesome the life. Perfect festival county yep. fucking... They had their. They were fucking huge in that in the eighties. Uh, yeah, they're a they big band. Are I didn't know that they were awesome live. <laughs> they're still taking around. They are. I've seen them like three times at, at Naval Rip Fest. What's wrong, Ed? You don't I know, think it's good. Yeah. Do you know any uh, of their work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're good. You're right. I mean, that's it. That's it's uh, time for me to fly. But you're right. It's like who knows how any of these are going to go over because. Can you play the opening piano to? Yes. Uh, what's it called? Roll with the changes. Roll with the changes. Mm-hmm. I used to play that before high school basketball. I games love it. In the pep band. <laughs> All right, Ario Speedwagon off the board. Cross off your list, Dave. It would have absolutely been on there. It's yeah, good, it's good. Good pick. Yeah. All right, I'm up. I need a musical act. Like I said, I think of a band like who had like one or two good songs was super popular, and it's like, oh, please don't do it. I know that band. Why? Well, I, I, I think I know who you're gonna take, but I want them so bad. Go. <laughs> I was probably not going to be it. I'm kind of way outside the box. I think I'm going to take puddle of mud. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, she fucking hates, hates me. me. Yeah. Trust. She la, fucking la, hates la, me. La 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 la. <laughs> I tried so hard. But That's puddle of mud, right? Yes, exactly. Like, I have like hey, you want to go see puddle? Oh, I don't really know anything. Say, Dude, she fucking hates me. It's like, oh yeah, I'll go see them. Like yeah, sure. And then you'll stand there for an hour waiting for them to play. <laughs> yeah. She fucking hates me, and then go absolutely bonkers when they do. <laughs> exactly. That's you a like good that one. one That's a good one. Yeah. That's I didn't know one. that they there's I completely forgot they existed. I yeah. didn't know they were doing that well, shit I still. I mean I didn't know that they were doing that shit still either. Oh yeah. And like the lead singer gets like locked up all the time. <laughs> oh like, he's, like, <laughs> at, like at these things he like fights people and shit. Hey, trouble in Fort yep. Wayne, Indiana, <laughs> part of a mud lead singer. Yeah. Blurry is a good oh. song too that they sing too, by the way. Hmm. But, uh regardless, um Puddle of Mud is my pick. White Sox, Dave, you're up. Uh, we all just have music, right? Yeah. I'm going with Smash Mouth. I'm looking at their tour right oh, now. Oh, damn. So they, I wanted nice. to see them damn. down in, like, I. Fuck. so I was yucking it up with them on Twitter. Fuck. This is two summers ago. I'm like, hey, That's when are you guys good. coming to Chicago? And they're like, we're not coming to Chicago. We're going to Peoria this year. I looked it up. It was like the Peoria River Days or whatever. And I'm looking up their tour right now. They're in Minnesota, down by the Riverside. River Rhythms in Albany, Oregon in august in florida brazilian festival and september 24th they're going to rock the lake in McHenry, illinois which i can guarantee you we've all been to rock the lake without ever having actually been to rock the lake <laughs> it's the exact same little fucking town fair that everybody's been to their entire lives so i'm going to smash mouth i mean and one of my favorite picks i think you've ever had on draft they've right had pick, a million fucking hits they were i mean fucking like they they were one of the bands of the 90s with shrek and everything Mm -hmm. and now they're playing county fairs very active on twitter too i feel like yeah they're big stoolies yeah yeah great pick (laughs) that's a very good pick pick. yeah i didn't think you had that in you i see exactly what i was when ed was explaining music i was like that the feeling you just elicited was exactly mm-hmm. what i was hoping yep. yeah mm-hmm. I, th- I think we've had three good ones so far we'll see how marty <laughs> chief end us up well now well marty you're up i'm fucked like <laughs> i i only listen to four songs i have four songs i play over and over until i get sick of one and switch well, one out what so are like, i don't know uh right now it's uh it's a juice world song the climb um, good for you and stay. It's literally the four I listen to. Stay um, as in uh, Florida Georgia it's with Line? A, a kid Roy and Justin Bieber. Okay. I mean, <laughs> is this about a carnival? I don't know. No, you missed it. I asked some, ask some questions. So, what's your song? Man? What's your musical act? So I don't know why this is popping up in my head, and I, this could be so bad, but I'm going to go with the Beach Boys. No. I mean, <laughs> Vito. 
I, I'm not. No, nah, I saw the Beach Boys at a, like a black tie They're event when I was. I shouldn't say black tie, but it was like a big charity event that I, I got dragged to. I feel like he should have to take like Beach Boys cover band. Yeah, something like that might be at a carnival. The Beach Boys. I'm okay with that. I saw that they were playing at a fan this year, so I picked oh. them. You picked them. What do you? I'll go. With the They're band. still active. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. But well, you go to, if you go to Wikipedia, they're listed uh, as active. They're playing at the Champaign County Fair this year. All right, that plays then. Yeah, see? Champaign County Fair is uh, just Actually, about. they are playing at the Champaign County Fair tomorrow. Do you want to go? Wow. Uh, I can't, but I think I'm going to Milwaukee this week. Beach Boys are sick, dude. Barbara Ann? Ma, 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 ma. That's really in your wheelhouse, too, that, like, yeah. quartet, the... Uh, I mean, High, low, the unity, Ed, the the harmonization. You might have oh, yeah. failed upwards there, mushy little fucking rat. He, That's I, why I, I saw they played at a fair. I feel like it's a good pick. I think right, that the pick beach still kind of stinks. Man, How do these guys do it? 60 fucking yeah. years. Like, what's the point? Brian Wilson is uh, the pride of St. Charles. There is it? He's lived there for like 30 years now. There's a lot of One of the guys got caught up in like the Charles Manson cult. Oh, that's Back right. Day, yeah. Oh, Jesus, Ed. I'm just... Stay Save it for Friday, buddy. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Chief, Mr. Irrelevant, Mrs. Irrelevant, Irrelevant Band. So when I think of carnival fair music, it's only like 90s country bands that come to mind. Like that is their demographic. It's all like those people out in the, in the sticks going. So I'm thinking like Whoa, specifically. Those people? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What? What? <laughs> That, like mean, that's who goes to the Kane. Those County, people. That's who goes to the Kane County Fair. I'm taking Jody Messina. So I, I feel like I might be the only person on this panel who knows Jody Messina. Maybe Ed, but she had maybe six like great songs in the '90s, and then now she just plays fairs. And uh, but that's like a big time. You talk about like heyday country music in the '90s. Like Jody Messina was it, and now she's now she just does the Kane County Fair. So Jody Messina is my. Pick. I don't think that'll play, but I literally saw her at a fair. Dave? I mean, that's fine. You yeah, don't I mean, know dick about music, first of all, Carl. Carl you don't knows know music. No, he doesn't. I know yeah, how he knows to, music. He knows how to play, but he doesn't know, like, I, I wouldn't say you don't know. He he, he knows that. dick. He has said that. He, he knows, knows more dick. than me. Um, I wouldn't say he doesn't know music. Maybe not. And if I played you, so it's not necessarily about whether or not I know Joe D. Messina, but I do think it brings up an interesting point because Dave said he's like, I'm trying to pick a good carnival, and you're like, I'm trying to take. So like your list was only Joe D. Messina, right? Or who else could have been on your list? Uh, Diamond Rio, um, like all those bands, all those country music artists from the '90s. Billy Ray Cyrus. Maybe he was like before that, but I'm thinking of like that. Um, you're, you're, I thought like your Lone, theme, Lone I, Star, like all those like '90s, early Uncle 2000s. Cracker. <laughs> that See, actually would have like been, Uncle Uncle Cracker, Cracker. Cracker. been a good pick. He's probably yeah. doing this shit right now. He probably is, but I don't like I don't like Uncle Cracker. He, he only had the one song with uh, Kenny follow Chesney. Follow me, yeah. You follow me, yeah. Is with Kenny right. Chesney, yeah. I don't think Kenny was in that. Was mm, no I people was, alleged that was about heroin. Do you know that? Right. What's I mean, the song you did it. with Uncle Cracker and uh, um, I? I, I, under, I followed your theme. I understood. I just I didn't know her very. I don't know her much. But you so you I, would know if I if, if I, I played, played it. Song. If I played. All right, but Jody Messina. All right, I'm gonna run through here. We'll do some honorable mentions and we'll get out of here. Carl Funnel Cake Sledgehammer Game Tilt a Whirl Quarter Game Ario Speedwagon Eddie the Carnies The Ferris Wheel Basketball Lemonade Shake Up Puddle of Mud White Sox Dave Shoot Out the Star. Pirate ship, <laughs> cotton candy, smell of fried food, smash mouth. Marty, deep fried Oreo, the chair swing ride, water gun game, accusing carnies of cheating, the Beach Boys. Chief, corn dog, getting dropped off by your parents, bumper cars, dunk tank, Jody Messina. Let's start with rides. The only one I had was Gravitron. We covered that. I think the Gravitron's yep. fun, but dangerous and scary, especially for the psychos that would go upside down. Any other uh, rides? Uh, the, t- the teacups. Um, the trampant, which was what they wrote in the, the official the name of the lot. thing in the sandlot. Yeah. Which was like, yeah. That's what I, yeah. Mm-hmm. What was that called? 
the things like the tramping oh, like or the, the trapin uh, or the I feel like, like it, I close my eyes and you could tell me it was a teacups you can tell me it was the tilt the world you could tell me it was the swings like you could my, tell me it was a roller coaster I believe it yeah, yeah. and like uh, for whatever reason it's just like I know they're just puking over the side but I can't picture I got actual. Patrick Grenin's number in my phone do you want to call him <laughs> seriously yeah call him right now I don't have his number <laughs> we did interview on Barcelona yeah, we Radio, did. though we did we could um, probably get him what about the fun the that was my miss yeah. if you guys were yeah. gonna take away coin game, I was gonna drop Funhouse. I had that in my miscellaneous. Yeah, as definitely. Well. Is Funhouse different than House and Mirrors? House and Mirrors, is there a, a room of mirrors in a fun house? I think yes, it's all I kind of the same. Right. But there is yeah. a house of mirrors. Though. Yeah. What yeah. else would be in the fun house? Like, uh, like a woo. Yeah, like a like a Dracula that like pops up and yeah. uh, I okay. don't know. <laughs> Right. I want to go to a carnival right no, now. No, it was it's like the stairs that like go reverse. Oh, you know what I mean? The yeah. circle when you get out of there, you, mm-hmm. you think you're going to get trapped on the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Uh, but Miss Elaine still said the potato sack slide. Yeah, that's a good oh, one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's really fucking yeah, good. Yeah, I like that. At, for Are we talking games now? Miscellaneous. 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 Um, I had mullets. <laughs> I think that's just, <laughs> I mean, that's right there with carnies, obviously. Um, a gold, goldfish prize. Goldfish prize is good. Like uh-huh. Tank tops. Dago tees, yeah. Tank tops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, overly yeah. sized prizes would be a good one for miscellaneous. <laughs> yeah, that, like, uh, that would have been yeah. a great one. Mm-hmm. I also, I didn't want to, mm, you, you guys brought up the Dave getting hammered. Underage drinking is a great miscellaneous. Of course. But, yeah. but yeah. I don't think that is any different than like underage drinking at a park or yeah. at a baseball else. game or anything. But I do feel like cheap bring, brings up, the carnival was like a liberating experience for yeah. a lot mm-hmm. of us. I oh, know, yeah. like that was a chance to like you got to flex some independence. So anything along those lines is a miscellaneous of when, like when you get out of school in whatever June, whatever it was, you circled that date when the carnival was that yeah. summer. You, you knew. knew that was a big mm-hmm. one. You looked forward to that shit. Our church wasn't big enough to do a carnival, so we had a parish picnic, and it sucked. We had a fucking dunk tank. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you say, Martin? Instead of Dave's, uh, instead of Dave's like smelling, it's like when you when you see the lights. That's also like yeah. a fantastic feeling. Yeah, when you, that's that's a great scene. The big sign when they change the letters on the sign of the church to announce the fest. That's a good one. That would be a good you one. You know, Redeemer yeah. Fest yeah. this weekend mm-hmm. and like all that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, at games, the balloon dart. Yeah, I think that I can't believe it won undrafted, but the ring toss. See, ring I hate toss. ring toss, but I love the uh, the only the other game I was thinking about taking is where they just let you throw baseballs at a plate and just smash the plate. The, like you or f- the three bottles that are like 13 pounds each and yeah. super dense and yeah. a softball can't possibly have right. enough inertia to knock them off the right. thing. Not enough centrifugal force. Fucking, it has nothing to do with centrifugal <laughs> <understand>. force. <laughs> We're talking more physics, Marty. Football. Oh, I got it. What's a football? Like when they got the, 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 tire. the tires? Yeah. The, oh. There's one at the Jersey Shore that I used to love. Um, this like, was, this was um, Ed, don't laugh until I'm done. When Osama Bin Laden was in the news a lot, they would draft, <laughs> they would dress this guy in a Bin Laden costume, and they'd give you a paintball gun and just let you light him the fuck up. I swear what? to God. That was a thing? It, I, it'd be oh, this big geez. room in, like, I don't know, uh, uh, 40, 50 feet, like, <laughs> beyond time. you. Like, it'd be a guy running in a fucking Osama thing, and you just light him the fuck up with a paintball gun for, like, an uh, entire hopper's worth of paintballs, and then you left. And that was it. <laughs> Unbelievable. And I swear to God. That was a good game. That or was a game or that Saddam Hussein, they did, too. You're surprised it didn't get drafted. What are you trying to say? No, nah, I'm just saying it was fun. <laughs> I can just picture him giggling as he was playing that. <laughs> Come on, you fucking cocksucker, Osama. <laughs> Me and you, bitch. That's why he wishes that the <laughs> gun wasn't chained out. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wasn't chained out. Um, can I say the food that I wish you yeah. were, that I like wanted you to take? Sure. I, I wanted you to take the turkey leg. <laughs> I was oh. close to taking a turkey leg. Corey, I yeah. in my world, my White Sox Dave hammers a fucking turkey leg, gets his fingers dirty in the Ferris wheel, and just fucking shoots out stars and just has a or bin log. Or Bin Laden, or Bin yeah. Laden, yeah. That's my White Sox, Dave, at a carnival. <laughs> Turkey legs are great. I, I don't think I've ever consumed an ounce of meat at a carnival. Really? I don't think I have either. I feel like that the only, like, I've had turkey legs at tailgates before. Like, I remember specifically, like, having one at Iowa. The only time I actually eat turkey, I'm not talking, like, sliced deli meat turkey, is Thanksgiving, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
That's a good – I like that. I thought you were going to say corn on the cob, Ed, because you drafted it 1-1 one time, but – yeah, everyone gives me shit about that. that and was worse I know than we got I know we got to wrap up, but I stand by that pick. Probably. Snow cones another one then too. Um Snow cone. Yes, food. lushy snow, snow cone. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Uh any musical acts that people want to get out there? Mm. No. Well, you could go on forever with that. Yeah. I had Edwin the McCain. Collective mis- <laughs> He plays like weddings now. Yeah. That's how I'll always gotten. Who? Edwin McCain. He's saying uh, I'll be I'll like be. one of the uh, best one hit wonders yeah. ever. Yeah. James Blunt. I would love to see James Blunt. That's a great one. That would have been a fucking great pick. I saw him live in Champagne. Yeah. It was a great concert. That's a fucking great pick. He's he English. Isn't awesome. he? Beautiful voice. He, he does. He does. So Is Five for Fighting doing these two? I, I thought Five for Fighting was a name that would they, look good on a board. They, they look. They they could play a set with James Blunt. Like they're like yeah, the same. It was a beautiful time. Mm-hmm. And then uh, early two thousands. <laughs> yeah. Marty, anything else? No, I feel like I kind of got a little redemption from my rice bowl. You had a better draft. You did. Deep fried Oreos, chair swing well, ride, water Accusing gun game. carnies is a great pick. Yeah. yeah. Accusing, that was probably the best of the 10 picks you've ever made by far. That's huge. See, that's all I need. I got some. I'm going to take a lot of time off, though. This is <laughs> well, well, you're, so you're sweating. sweating. So, yeah, I guess it's mutual. I, I'm, yeah, that's fine. I deserve <laughs> it. I've been sweating for an hour now. I am so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right, Marty, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thank you. That's it for today. That's it for this uh, mm-hmm. snake draft. Can I get Lewis. a final score on the uh, brain off? You lapped, Marty. That was an embarrassing by Marty Mush. I wasn't I wasn't focused on Dave today. I usually am. I usually have a lot of insults ready to go. Today was just I needed to do a good draft. You have the same <laughs> insult every time ready to go. It's the only thing you got in your fucking magazine. It, it does make me laugh about every time, though. It makes me laugh, too. <laughs> hey, I got a Peloton now. Find a new slant, you fucking freak. I have Jesus. new teeth, you fat fuck. <laughs> I'll never forgive you for getting those new teeth. <laughs> All right. Give them. That's it. Thanks, everybody. See you tomorrow.